Well, I love that you mentioned hypertension. I'll just say um, it's one thing to be eating salt. The kidneys are designed to deal with that salt. Um, and insulin doesn't let it do it properly. And insulin's forcing the kidneys to hold on to that salt, which is holding on to water and blood pressure just stays high. But it's also why people have such significant drops in blood pressure so quickly when they adopt dietary changes. If they look at their hypertension through the lens of insulin, then they just intuitively would say, or logically, how can I lower my insulin? All right, of the foods I eat, of the three macronutrients, of course, carbs spike insulin the most, I'm just going to start eating less. Boom. Blood pressure plummets just right lockstep with insulin coming down as well. Early in my practice, when I was starting to recommend the ketogenic way of eating to my most morbidly obese, most metabolically ill patients, they would come back anywhere from two weeks to a month later and say, Doc, I don't think this diet is right for me. Every time I stand up, I get lightheaded. That means that we can now stop one of your blood pressure yeah, yeah. medications. But so many people so often they become wedded to their medications. Like this is, it's a part of them, right? Like I have to have my pills. And, and when I say, no, that's good. That means it's time to stop one or two of your blood pressure medications. You should see the, the their face light up. It's the most beautiful thing. They're like, Oh, I didn't think of it like that. It's I just love that so much. 